Yeah, there we go. As predicted, we're changing seasons now. It is winter in the Scottish Highlands. Hope you're excited for it. We still got a couple spells to unlock. That's got to be soon, right? Like the unforgivable curses, I don't know when that happens. I would suspect we're going to get a message from Seb shortly to potentially learn the next one. Which is obviously going to be Imperio. They're not going to teach us about a cadaver next. But there we go. We got ten, ten, <laughs> 10 main story quests left. All right, I suppose we're going to get a couple of messages right about now through our owl post. Go on. There we go. Betty told me about your run-in with the poachers. I have some news about them as well. Can you meet me soon? I fear that some of what I uncovered has to do with you. One. When you have a moment, please stop by the Womb of Requirement. Deke mentioned you might be interested in learning how to Ooh. breed beasts. How to breed beasts. That sounds pretty intriguing. Let's figure out how to make more... Oh, hello. Do the exploding charm. Bombarda. Once you have completed the Bombarda. Task to me Ooh. Sorry, Deke. I might have to... I might have to ditch you really quick and do that. Let's check what we need to do for that. It might have something to do with beasts. The ten beast class. Okay. Well, great. Just gotta go to class. Wait, that means... I guess I've already done it. Right? Because usually, like, it wouldn't just be nothing. It wouldn't just be go to class. It would be you'd have two, two or three, like, requirements, and then it would say go to class. So I guess we've already done it if it has to do with beasts. I mean, we've, <laughs> we've got quite the collection already. You might want to learn how to build a breeding pen so that you can breed beasts. That sounds like a very good idea. Rescuing and breeding beasts go hand in hand. Young beasts are particularly vulnerable to poachers. Breeding beasts here in the room will allow us to keep the younger ones safe. I see. What do I need to do? First, bring a pair of beasts to the room. One male, one female. Deke suggests rescuing Thestrals, as they're at great risk from poachers. Noble creatures, but their relationship with death gives them a bad reputation. They're prized by poachers for their tail hairs. I've seen thestrals what? before, but where would tail I find hairs? a pair of them nearby? Deke has I already have some, don't worry. Not too far from the Hogwarts grounds. Then you'll need to purchase a spellcraft for the pen from tomes and scrolls and gather the materials it requires. Once you've rescued the thestrals, I think we should be all good. We just need to go and buy the spellcraft. Yeah, that's the only item we still have left on the on the on the quest because I do believe we have a pair of Thestrals. We have three of them. A mi okay, we have three males. Please tell me there's one female. Yes, <laughs> awesome. Oh, and I really like how everything changes in the winter or just season to season. The fall had some pretty cool decos going on and like jack o' lanterns. Strewn about hap haphazardly. All right, spellcraft. Give it to me, Tommy Brown. That's definitely new because I feel like I haven't seen this before. It's only a thousand bucks. Shopping station. What does this even do? Periodically produces a plant byproduct. So it just gives you like a random plant. All right, and then we're gonna stop by Beast Class on the way home. And then we're going to go talk to Deke. Sound like a plan? Thought so too. I mean, we are going to Beast's class, after all. <laughs> we're not going to flying class. So, yeah. Show some support in the chat if you've been enjoying this game. I sure as hell have.
It really is sort of a magical combination of Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. Anybody who's a fan of that universe is must be absolutely losing their minds over this. And even me, like, I'm not a particularly... <laughs> I guess you could say I'm not exactly a pothead. A potterhead. <laughs> oh, these things are so freaking cute. These moon calves. But yeah, I've been freaking out over this. The game has been absolutely great. Just the right amount of, like, suspense. Ooh, Seb left us a message. Meet me in the Undercroft. I found something. Oh my god. Alright guys, main, main story may have to wait a bit. Seb just wrote. I'm gonna go talk to Deke first. Wait. Hold on. <laughs> I'm still not done here. I still need to talk to this professor. I take it you're ready to learn. She needs to teach me the spell. Professor. I'm ready to learn Bombarda now. Good. Now, this spell comes with a caveat. It should only be used when necessary. The exploding charm, as you might suspect, can hurt people. Use caution when casting it. Use caution. <laughs> I'm not about to say is that a an appropriate thing. Please teach it to me. Now, you must be precise in your wand movements. We don't want you blowing your hand off. Go ahead. Nice and steady wand Ooh, that's movements. an interesting one. Remember, the exploding charm is highly volatile. Bombarda. We got it. We finally got all the damage spells. Well done. Now, let Genuinely, I think at this point, we kind of need this last spell diamond. I don't think there's any, uh, there's any getting around it anymore. We need all four. We also have two other skill points kind of lurking around. I don't... I can't decide what to get on them. In spells, there's these two that I definitely want to get. I guess we could already get Bombarda. That was a bigger explosion. Let's we'll hold off on that one. Cause I also obviously want to get some dark arts stuff, right? I need this Avada Kedavra mastery. And I was thinking also this one. Alright. Yeah, I think we're gonna go talk to Seb. Or go talk to Deke, then go talk to Seb. <laughs> it does that every time. It takes like a hot second to, to load in properly. I also added these strapping uh, suits of armor by the door. I think they look really good. Alright, Deke. I don't want to talk about the I ambience, the and the but thank you. For the pen. Excellent. Now, to breed your Thestrals, simply release them into the same vivarium in which you conjure the pen. Then use the pen to start the process. Come and see Deke when you're finished. I shall. I wonder where I should conjure that pen. Can I not just think and... Oh, I think it is happening. Yes! We're getting Vivarium number three. Oh, this is awesome. Swamp. Is it actually a swamp? That's kind of cool. They obviously need to have slightly different themes, right? We have a bit of a grassland in one of them, then like a rocky coastal... Tired of the room surprises. We now shore the area, I guess. Festivals. Please let Deke know once you've bred them. Well, let's get in here. Let's check this place out. Ooh. Sort of dark and gloomy. He's right. This is perfect for Thestrals. Alright, we need our conjuring spell. Jeez, okay. This thing does... <laughs> it needs to be pretty large. Come on. Nope, too far. Let's put it right there. And then I guess we need to drop them th some Thestrals in here, huh? Alright. Ah! I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. Here we go. 
Where'd the other one go? Yeah, obviously you're scared of me. I'm so sorry. Don't run away. While we're at it, let's conjure up a feeder for these lovely people. People, lovely beasts, animals, monsters. Have some food. Where'd the other one go? Probably already eating. Excellent. Let me just feed you. <laughs> it takes less time. Alright, now what do we do? Do we go up to this? I guess so. Damn, it's gonna take 30 minutes. All right, well, I guess have fun in there, y'all. All right, high wing, you take it easy, buddy. High five. Oh, so cool that we get three vivariums already. There's going to be a fourth one, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's just go check on the beasts. Okay, wow. We've, uh... We gotta give him some love. I think the Nifflers are my favorite so far. Little platypuses. Look at this! Oh, they're so freaking cute. Oh, actually, speaking of, I can put a breeding pen down here. go I wonder oh that makes sense all right let's get these crazy cats going shall we I don't really know what to do let's just do maybe a toad oh that's cool how it's like they set it up differently depending on the animal I like it any hoozles we've used the pen for breeding the thestrals I guess while we're here, we might as well go throw a breeding pen into our third vivarium as well. Holy cow. This thing really is gigantic. Toss it there. Perfect. Oh. <laughs> Gotta take care of all of these guys. Alright, how we looking? Nurtured, 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 nurtured. We're missing... The measles, the freaking cats, of course. These guys are going to be elusive and like running around. Look at this guy making me chase him all the way over here to brush him. He isn't ready. What are you talking about? Oh, just like cats, yo. As you may be able to tell, I am more of a dog person. Man, this guy didn't even come eat. I'm being crazy. I think everybody here has been taken care of. Nesting. Yeah, see? Okay. It's just the female that chills in there. I guess that makes sense. Gotta keep it rated T after all. T for T money. Shout out to T money who couldn't be here today. He's not dead or anything. He's just busy. Oh, look at them. We're racing him down the stairs. You lost. Get wrecked. I don't even remember his name. Peeves? That's not... Let's see what Seb's got in store for us. It doesn't say that we're learning a new mi a new spell. So, yeah. I don't really know what we're gonna, gonna talk about. Maybe we're gonna discuss his sister. Let him know what we saw in the in the memory. Oh no, he wants to talk to us about what he's seen in Slytherin's what book. What did in the spell book we found in the scriptorium? Salazar Slytherin's spell book was a little difficult to interpret, but fascinating. Evidently, he encouraged teaching dark magic at Hogwarts. Neither the Imperious Curse nor the Killing Curse was unforgivable during his time. 
He believed students should be prepared to use dark magic when necessary, not to fear it. That's why we had to use Crucio to gain access to the Scriptorium. He didn't want his knowledge shared with anyone who was afraid of the power of dark magic. Yeah, I don't regret using it. it. I want more of these spells, please. Our only option. And I'm glad we did it. Because in the spellbook, I also found something else. References to a lost relic, which, from what I can tell, grants the holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. And you think this relic might be able to save Anne? Precisely. I plan to search for this relic, but I don't think we should tell anyone. Especially Ominous. He wouldn't understand. Why should we tell Ominous? Ominous wants no part of this. He's obviously just going to try to talk him out, talk us out of it. All right. I see no I'm with you, buddy. I'm glad you agree. When I know more, I shall send an owl. 